let us continue the cells toolbar we have seen the first option place active cell and now I have created a star and a moon and the only reason I created them is to make it a little interesting you can obviously you will be using instead of these objects nuts, bolts, doors and windows alright so in order to make them into cells as we saw in the previous session firstly go with the define cell origin place anywhere let me place it over here in this way right click then select it then go with the element option click on cells now when you go with that option now again you need not choose a cell library the cell library which I had chosen previously is still existing as far as I am in this file so in the same cell library I can go ahead and create this cell go with the name say star go with create option and now the preview is over here and this is how it has been listed over here you can close it and again I'm going to place the cell origin over here somewhere over here maybe over here right click now select the drawing after which go with the element option click on cells create go with the moon okay. go with create in this way we have created three cells totally right. after which I'm going to close this dialog box click on this again right click in order to remove it from the drawing alright now I'm going to delete this existing once let me create a rectangle of say 200 length and 100 width, width yeah okay after creating this rectangle next instead of using the first option that is place active cell I'm going to instead go with the second option place active cell matrix in this option when I click on this I'll be able to enter a number of cells again I'll be able to create an array matrix of rows and columns um, entering the number of rows as 3 or 4 let the number of columns be 5 as well the row spacing can be 15 or say 25 and the column spacing let it be 30 after setting all these values next you can see you can read it over here enter lower left corner of matrix that means the matrix which will be generated has got a lower left corner that point I need to describe over here I will place it over here and in this way you can see the created cell matrix this cell matrix has to be according to the dimension sorry according to the number of rows and columns given over here and the row spacing between each of them is this 25 and the column spacing is 30 in this way you can go with the place active cell matrix I'll go with the undo option and instead of this I want to use the star as the active cell so I'll click on this magnifying glass and I'll choose the star option click on this and go with you can either go with double clicking on the star itself in order to place it or if you do not want to place it you want to use it over here itself that is you want to use it in the cell matrix then you can go with selecting it over here select star and go with placement close it and now you can see the active cell is set to star earlier it was not right and the same uh, values rows and columns number of rows is 3 columns is 5 and now again I will click over here somewhere over here let us increase the number of columns to 6 enter now I am placing it over here ok so the insertion point was at the top of the star so instead of this I will place it a little above say over here now you can see the correct alignment of the cells they have been placed over here in the drawing this is your place active cell matrix option wherein it creates an array ok now I will select this and I will delete it now for placement I am going to create place the cells a few cells over here and there 
right click again select this and if I want to use the moon now click on this go with the moon and click on placement now the moon gets highlighted over here close this and you can place the moon somewhere over here in this way in this way in this way etc etc right again I'll select the cells option and this time I'm going to use the nut click on placement this sweet little nut I can place it over here a number of times and the reason why I am using a number of cells over here is in order to see the next option which is select and place cell the reason this option is given over here is when you are doing a huge project or a huge drawing you will be using as I said a number of cells a number of cells in a cell library so each time going over here browsing over here selecting it from this particular uh, library and placing it clicking on this placement option or double clicking it is a little tedious so instead of that what we can do is we can directly choose this option select and place cell click on this I'll go with the selection of the cell after which I need to place it I'll place it over here in this way in this way in this way. now if I want to use the star I'll go over here the same option I'll click on that is I use my right click to come out of the command as we have been doing so far generally that is now after that I'll again click on this nut this time you can see it is asking me to identify the element I'm selecting this nut and I can place it so there's no need to go into the cell library or browse through the cells or browse to the cell libraries in order to place a particular cell I can directly select and place those cells at various locations in the drawing alright so that is was our select and place cell option the next option which we have already seen is define cell origin after which comes identify cell click on this option uh, again uh, no whenever you are using the select and place cell option you can again provide the same values active angle x scale y scale the same options which were existing over here active angle x scale and y scale right ok so we are seeing identify cell now when I select that option and click on this over here you can see you can read it in the prompt the cell type or cell name is moon and the level is default level is nothing but the layers over here we haven't seen it so far we'll be seeing it later on for now it gives some information regarding the cell okay you can directly select it over here and click on this nut and the cell name is displayed over here the level to which it belongs is displayed over here click on the star so I click on the star over here and the cell name star is displayed over here in order to find out or get the details regarding the cell you can use the identify cell option now, after this I'll draw a line over here in this way and select the next option place active line terminator click on this option and select a cell right now it's blank select a cell let us choose the nut and this time instead of clicking on placement you need to click on terminator option because you have chosen the option called place active line terminator that is the reason you won't be using the placement option but instead use the terminator option right now it is none I'll click on this and the nut is displayed over here now you can close this and click on this line on this side and then left click you can see that the cell has been placed at the end of that line at the termination of the line the cell gets placed this is your place active line terminator if I click on this side and again left click outside you will be placing it over there on that edge or sorry on that side in this way I will create a few lines again go with the place active line terminator click on left click click left click left click and left click again in this way you can place it at the ending of the line right the next option over here is replace cells I need to stop the session over here 
because we have hit the 10 minute mark again uh, we'll resume this option the cells option in the next session after which we'll go back to the patterns option